Plain eating alone does not guarantee that you'll lose fat or weight. No, no, no. Ladies and gentlemen, that's not how it works. And you most likely already know this. You've probably had multiple clean eating periods in the past, not losing any weight, or in some cases, even gaining some weight back. And you think to yourself, what on earth is going on? Bugger this, this doesn't work. That's exactly why I'm making this video here today, to explain why that's the case amongst some people. Giving you tips, strategies, and advice that you can take and implement today to begin losing weight starting tomorrow. Let's talk about it. Now, first and foremost, a massive congratulations to those of you who have already taken the step to incorporate clean eating into your day-to-day -day routine, into your day-to-day -day habits. That is the most difficult step amongst the entire weight loss and fat loss journey. In fact, that is the most difficult step amongst any physique goal. So, round of applause to you. But don't get this video twisted. Yes, you are 10 steps ahead of those people who haven't incorporated clean eating. You have more minerals, more vitamins, more antioxidants, overall, more complex foods, more complex carbohydrates, multi-complex carbohydrates, higher quality protein, higher, significantly higher quality fats, and none of the junk, none of the crap that you should not be incorporating into your diet, like sugary foods, discretionary choices, alcohol especially, empty calories, empty micronutrients foods, you are well, far, and clear away from anyone who has not yet incorporated it. You literally just need this one thing that I'm about to tell you, I'm about to teach you, that you can then take and start implementing tomorrow and it is so, so easy. Understanding this simple idea is the key to everything. Regardless of if I'm eating clean food, dirty food, junk food, takeaway, what matters at the end of the day, at the end of the week, is the total amount of calories that I have consumed. Every single thing, whether that be celery, whether that be fruit like a piece of apple, whether that be a massive, juicy hamburger. Everything has a caloric value attached to it. For example, if I consume an entire bowl of rice, chicken, avocado, sprinkled with olive oil, then nuts on top versus a burger, they most likely have the same amount of calories. However, this is where it gets interesting. If I then consume three of those main meals that I just explained with the chicken and rice versus just one burger, the person who has eaten the takeaway versus the person who has eaten the clean food is eating less calories in comparison to the person who decided to stick to clean eating. So the moral of this story, understanding which foods have the highest caloric density, for example, olive oil, avocado, nuts. I recommend, by the way, the Mediterranean diet. That is the best diet on the face of the planet for literally every single human being. So understanding the basics of which foods contain the most amount of calories is absolutely essential because going back to that bowl example again, that bowl is probably a 1,200 calories versus if I was to have half the olive oil, half the nuts, half the avocado, switching the chicken thigh for chicken breast, you've now half the calories of that bowl. You've removed 600 calories, which is now half of that burger. So you can see how understanding which foods you can take a step back on, and in some instances, switch around, like the chicken example, you can make very smart decisions that are less caloric dense, more nutrient dense, and more volume dense. So these foods make you fuller for longer instead of consuming a burger and still being hungry afterwards because there isn't much food there. Going back to the calorie aspect of things, what is it that determines what makes you lose weight versus what makes you gain weight? That is called the caloric deficit. Now, a caloric deficit just simply means burning more calories than you consume. Again, going back to the bowl versus burger example, the reason why this person eating three of those bowls versus this person just eating one of that takeaway burger is gaining weight versus this person who remains or probably loses weight is because this totals 1200 calories probably and this totals 3600 calories if you were to eat three of those bowl examples so regardless of this person's title being clean eating and this person's title being dirty eating he's overall consumed more calories therefore he's no longer in a caloric deficit and he's gaining weight he is still under his maintenance calories and is most likely still losing weight now i don't recommend this can you still lose weight eating takeaway? Yes, because if you stay below your maintenance threshold, so you're still burning more calories than you consume, yes, you can still lose weight. Is it healthy? No. 
because you're missing out on the other things, the vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants. Let's take a break here. Let's take a step back. How can you and what can you do now to make a change in your life? First of all, understand the basics when it comes to what I was just saying. Make smarter choices when it comes to those. Some people, believe it or not, toss olive oil and nuts into everything to add more flavor. That is not the way to go because those become the hidden costs associated with why you're most likely still gaining weight in a dieting period. You don't factor in the small accumulation of things that you aren't thinking about that add into and compound into a surplus, compound into the complete removal of your caloric deficit. Three to 500 calories is all it takes. Three to 500 calories is the average caloric deficit of a normal person in a dieting period. So let me say that in simpler terms. A caloric deficit is when you are burning more calories than you consume. The average person, that number equals three to 500 calories below your maintenance calories. Now knowing that, when you think about those hidden costs I was talking about that you don't factor in or you consistently overlook, when you combine them together, they most likely equal three to 700 calories, which is why in some cases, you are actually gaining weight in a dieting period. Understanding the basics of which foods contain the most amount of calories, tick. Which foods are the most caloric dense, tick. Which foods contain hidden calories that you don't factor in, tick. An example, you're going out, you order the healthy chicken and rice, but they forget to mention that they just drenched the whole thing in olive oil. That is a hidden cost associated, attached to that meal that they didn't factor in and that you didn't factor in. So now we've ticked off three things. Would you like to know the easiest way for you to start losing weight today, tomorrow? Incorporate more active calories. Incorporate more exercise. That is the easiest way. Like I said, you've already done the hard yucca. You've already done the hard yards. You know what it takes to be in a clean eating period. All you need to do now is incorporate more exercise. I recommend going to the gym, of course. If you don't have access to a gym, going for a walk around the block incorporating sports, incorporating any type of cardiovascular endurance. But the reason I recommend the gym the most is because any weightlifting activity will burn more calories than cardiovascular endurance usually. If I'm just going to the gym and doing bicep curls, keep dreaming, son. But for the most part, a normal, typical training workout will burn more calories than walking on the treadmill. You are combining both your muscle skeletal system, so your muscles, in conjunction with your cardiovascular system, so your lungs, to work hand in hand to burn more calories. Your muscle fibers are working overtime to burn more calories. If you aren't already, incorporate weight training into your day-to-day. -day. 30 minutes, that's all it takes. Do that three to four times per week, you are losing weight flat. If you are already weightlifting, add an additional cardiovascular endurance session into your routine, that will most likely do it because that's two to 300 calories. You can go for a walk around the block two to three times per week. That will most likely do it. Look, the long story short, just add more active calories into your routine. If you want the best of both worlds and you want to guarantee that you don't hit any plateaus for a very long while, then incorporate both. Here's the summary of this video. The reason why clean eating does not guarantee fat loss is because it all ultimately comes down to being in a caloric deficit. Use those strategies that I mentioned to you if you are already clean eating. Incorporate active calories. If you are doing both, just eat less calories because at the end of the day, calories in versus calories out, if you aren't burning enough calories or you are eating too many calories, you'll not lose fat you'll not lose weight. Simples. If you learned something throughout this video, drop me a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to debate me down in the comment section below, feel free to. I'll see you beautiful people in the next video. For those of you who are more advanced, I left this tip for you right at the end. If you've tried everything in this video and you find that you still haven't lost weight, try this. Your macronutrient distribution of your calories should look like this. 25 to 30% in protein, 20 to 25% in fats, and the remainder should be in complex and multi-complex carbohydrates. If that made sense to you, then you are advanced. Some examples of complex and multi-complex carbohydrates, sweet potato, broccoli. Try that, and the reason that will be effective is because protein is gonna satiate you for longer. So holding a higher percentage of your calories in protein is gonna guarantee that you are fuller for longer on less food. Simples.